What's up everybody? Tyler Parsons back again. I'm gonna break down three exercises that every skill level of player, as well as beginner in the gym to the advanced need to be doing to help that body to improve that performance, get some more distance and power. Let's go on and do a warm up. Check back and let's get started. All right, so I have my barbell here, have it loaded up with some weight. Uh, depending on the exercise, it may be light, it may actually be on the heavy end. We're looking for explosive power, but more importantly, looking at correct posture, correct body movements, making sure everything's functioning, firing, doing its job, so that we don't get injured, but again, can hit those longer drives. If you're the beginner, start with just the bar, start with the light dumbbell, get comfortable with the movements first, and then we're gonna speed it up and add in that explosive power. Now, the first one we're gonna look at is the deadlift, okay? Everything's gonna be from the ground up. We know that we need the ground force, so we wanna build a nice little base. What we're looking for is a nice little bend. The ankle should be mobile. We should have those knees bending, back straight, sitting down to the butt. Head up, use that back, use those legs. Make sure that you're bracing in with that midsection. And again, Nice and smooth from there, and we can add a little pop to it as we go. One of the big things I want you to watch for is make sure those shoulders are back, okay? Don't get slumped and rounded and get into a bad position there. Really brace it just like that golf posture so that we're teaching it how to stay stable while it rotates. It's gonna be huge. Number two for you. Building off the same form of the deadlift, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna have the weight up high. We're doing a push press. Why this is good is again, it incorporates the ground. It's gonna be more weight than you could shoulder press. So it's really gonna make you put everything together, which is what the golf swing's wanting, okay? So obviously it doesn't magically start up at the top. Same as that deadlift, we go down and get it. I always like to bring mine up, use those legs, flip it, get it up nice and high from there. And from there, get a nice little bend and push. Try to keep that back as straight as you can. Again, you're really trying to explode. Use those legs. You can see as I put it down, it's that same nice, good form. Form is everything. Never sacrifice form and good technique to try to do more weight and never go too heavy so that again, all that's breaking down, but also with that heavy weight, you start to train and move slow. We're looking for those fast twitch, explosive movements, okay? So there's number two. Let's get jump into number three. Save the best for last and incorporates the most body movements, but it's the most complex, obviously, as a result. Here we're just gonna be doing a snatch towards up and over. We've seen this many a times on my different uh, videos on the channel. Shocker, we start in that same position. We're gonna bring it up. Again, I like to start with it waist high, so I'm gonna walk you through that. We may go down into a hanging position, so about mid-shin. And now I'm looking to lift and explode using that total body, trying to basically jump off the ground, keeping that weight nice and close to the body. Again, if you're a beginner, use something extremely light. I always like to use the example that you're right up next to the mirror, so the weight can't fly out away from you, but it's going up. So we're going to be using the ground. We're working mobility down through a lot of those joints. We're using the glutes. We're extending in through that back. We're hitting up into the shoulders. Again, a lot of force. But more importantly, the big key on all these exercises is we're getting the entire body to fire and work together in unison versus a lot of you that I see with that swing, different pieces aren't working and you're trying to muscle with the upper body. No one is going to hit it as far as they can using just that upper body, regardless. Let's go on. Let's dive into a simple little stretch that you can do afterwards to help improve all this. Here's a new little part that I'm trying to add in for you. The power and everything obviously is what you're looking for. It's fun. It's what I love. But regardless, again, of that skill level of player, whether it be the tour players I've worked with or the beginners, mobility is huge, okay? With this, we need to be tackling the hips, and a lot of you, the hips are tight due to that lifestyle, which is just crushing the golf game. 
So some simple little things we can do are some nice little sumo squats to where that's nice and wide and helping push against the knees to open that up with the chest up. Okay, so as I'm down, they're out. I'll show you from this side as well. We wanna make sure that we get away from that. But again, it's right in through there. Another one that's extremely helpful for you is a Spider-Man to where we're from here, the leg goes up, we're dropping down in through there, over to that other side. So I'm gonna show you from here, dropping that down, chest up, hips nice and straight, dropping down, clearing all that up. And we can keep going with a bunch of different stretches. Those are the two major that we wanna stay with. Last but not least, a nice little rotational, um, because this didn't have much rotation to it. If you're training for golf, obviously we need to have that in there. I always had everybody doing some sort of rotation, whether it be a chop, whether it be a reach back, depending on where they were in their program, what tournaments they had coming up. So something to be helpful. If you followed along this far, you need a little bit more guidance, shoot me an email. I do all sorts of online programs and videos for players. So let me know, we can get that worked out, get you an eval, get that started, get you trained specifically for you, improve that golf game, get longer drives. Check back again, parsonsgolfperformance.com. Let's keep that golf game improved.